Back at the mole hall in the South Pole, where anything could happen, Joyce may even up the amount of presents for the kids today. I'm going to do my best to convince her. What the best part of owning a schoolhouse is, George? What would that be? I get to wear my backpack everywhere and I don't look weird. Well, I thought this was a mole hole, not a schoolhouse. You right, you right. Local resident Deborah is back. Hi, okay. Deborah. Deborah, Hi. you you were gone for a day. What changes do you notice? This place got bigger and better. <laughs> bigger and, the and decorations better. Decorations in the hallway are amazing. Yeah. They really are. And these toys, it's like they're the everywhere. Toy store I ever seen. <laughs> I mean, and. Being from New York, they're pretty big ones. You saw there. big toy stores in New York, oh, didn't absolutely. you? Absolutely. This is what it looks like to go through all the rafters and all the ornaments. Oh my goodness. Oh, duck, duck, duck. Oh boy, oh boy. I don't know where George is taking me. Oh, ooh, candy. I think we need to take the tags off those candy canes. Definitely need to take the tags off the candy canes. Oh boy, watch your head. Watch your head, everybody. Oh, sorry. Sorry, that's my fault. Oh, candy cane for everybody. Disco ball. Oh, glitter. See blue painter's tape on the floor. What's going on, ladies? We are just making sure that there is a row for people to walk down because there are so many toys in here. That's not true. We're, that's not true. I came up with another job. I'm making them paint the floor now. <laughs> we're busting out of the seams with toys. This is a problem. That's or is it? Space space for people. We need a space for people. This definitely isn't a problem. This is a blessing. Yes, a George. very good blessing to you can dodge a wrench. You can dodge a ball. Ah! We got a plan B for Rudolph's yeah, nose. It worked. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so glad it worked. <laughs> Did you have to go out and buy uh, red lights or was this in the storage unit find? That was in the storage unit. Okay. That was in the storage unit. I did go buy a um, snow globe kit from the Dollar Tree, uh -huh. which is the nose, uh -huh. and then a red balloon. Blow, blown up and then put cool. over the top of it. Look at that. Okay. And now she's stuffing it with red lights. It's going to work. Nice. Who's going to get on the scaffold and Not put me. it on? I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> Jerry's grabbing sand. Where are you going with all that sand? I'm making another giant Sandman. It's not going to be a snowman. <laughs> it will be a Sandman here at Christmas in the Creek. You're back. Aren't you in school? Aren't you supposed to be in school, man? No, ma'am, I'm on Christmas break. There you go. Oh, wow, you make it look so easy. Look at you in your Christmas PJs. I love it. Well, actually, I just woke up. <laughs> well, that makes sense. What do you have there? I brought some stocking stuffers for Sean. For Sean? Yes, I Oh, did. he's going to love that. <laughs> hey, Charles, what are you working on? Uh, I'm cleaning the shelf. Uh, I'm trying to. Uh-huh. You can see it used to be white. I don't think it's going to be anymore. <laughs> That's okay. It's better. It's better than nothing because we are running out of shelf space. We are busting out of the seams. Oh, ho, ho, Steve. What do you have? I have uh, teddy bears. I, teddy Deputy bears. Duncan. Aww. So he can take care of the children as they're needed. Oh, that's so yeah. sweet. My wife and I, Mary, we, we got him for him. Just got off the phone with the sheriff's station. Deputy Duncan is off today, but we will make sure whether he comes here or we go there, we'll make sure he gets them for the kids. Are you taking a break? A Say snack you. break? Say yes. You. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Our kids and grandkids are all grown adults. So this gives my wife and I joy to be able to celebrate Christmas in another way. Oh, I and appreciate it. Thank we, you so we much. We appreciate you guys very much. Thank you, Steve. He's over there with his, his little rake and his little tiny stick. stick and he's over here begging for mine. Uh, <laughs> it's too bad. Oh, are you Are you keeping it as a souvenir? I probably will. It's a very functional stick. It's got a good head weight. Okay. What are you going to do with it? Use it as a machete? I might use it. I don't know yet. I don't know. There's what is that? A root? I think it is a root. A root. Yeah. Okay. It was up over there. A multi-purpose root. Use it like a hammer then. Well, what did you find, thing. Eric? This is my, I found a hammer. Mine's way better than his thing. Use You're going to use it as a hammer? Well, find me a nail. <laughs> Remember when yeah, you told me Jeremy yeah, bought an electric uh, throw blanket? That I bought one for yeah, myself? Bought yes, one? Yeah. yes. Well, my sister bought one too, and here it is. Oh my, <laughs> that doesn't even look like a blanket. Are those her feet? Yeah, those are her feet. <laughs>
<laughs> That's fun size. Miss Destiny, what do you think of the Nutcracker? You're almost as tall as him. There's one. There's a reindeer. Where's the other Nutcracker? Show me the other Nutcracker. Right here. Is that the Nutcracker? You're almost as tall as him. Destiny's telling you guys, move me. Where are you guys taking this thing? Over there where the rest of the tables are at. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, nice work. I can actually walk through. I know. <laughs> so they're going to come up here. We're actually live right now. Hey, everyone at home watching. And then they're going to wait for Santa here. And then they can look back, and there's still a clear path. There's so much. There's so much. What was your favorite toy growing up? Uh, my baby Boo and my Thumbelina doll. Oh. I was a girly into dolls. What about you? What was your favorite toy growing up? Uh, a doll. Wait now. The first doll I got, my mama Sorry, bought it. I played with it for two days. Uh -huh. It was one with the eyes move. Yeah. And I got me a knife and cut it in the middle to see what made the eyes move. <laughs> <laughs> and that killed the dolls for me. <laughs> and that was shortly lived. That was shortly lived. That was shortly lived. Deborah, what was your favorite toy growing up? Chatty Cathy. Chatty Cathy? Chatty Cathy is a doll. Mm, mine was Skip It. Remember Skip It? Yep. Skip It. Skip It. Deanna, what was your favorite toy growing up? Um, Probably a big wheel. A big wheel? A big wheel. <laughs> yeah. I used to drive around, go as fast as I can, and then turn it really fast and spin around that was probably wow i'm favorite. jealous we couldn't afford a big wheel growing up what was your favorite toys growing up a tape recorder okay with blank tapes stuff like that just uh, listen i can record my own stuff talking and just learning from it kevin what was your favorite toy growing up skip it skip it mine too no i'm just kidding that was the worst toy ever <laughs> right, come here i'll show you what my favorite okay toys cars i'm the one that hung these up that's why I spent so much time on them. You did a good job. Yeah, cars were fun. I actually played with Hot Wheels too growing up because my brothers had them and I would snag whatever they had. Chris, what was your favorite toy growing up? Chrissy doll. The Chrissy doll? Her hair grew out of her head. Oh, we couldn't afford one of those when I was growing up. Good choice though. You better have Pepper with you this time. <laughs> no Pepper? I only take phone calls when there's ketchup and pepper. Hung up Did on him. Did you just hang up on yep, him? Yep, again. Wow. Jessica, what was your favorite toy growing up? Well, I have to tell a little story beforehand. Okay, I got time. Okay. My mom was tired of doing all the shopping, so one year she told my dad that he had to do the shopping. Well, it's Christmas Eve, and she said, so what did you get the kids? He hadn't gone shopping. <laughs> so they raced out. There's no toys left. So we ended up with a weenie roaster, a hamburger <laughs> cooker. I got the popcorn maker. Nice. Best present ever. Love it. We've got the blue men out here dancing. Travis, I have an important question. Hit me. What was your favorite toy growing up? Every toy. Every toy? Every toy. I mean, what, what, every toy. <laughs> well, define every toy. Well, uh, I really liked the Transformers. When I was a kid, I liked the, my, my, I remember my favorite toy when I was growing up that my grandma took me to get, I think it was only $10 at the time. Now it's probably $110, but uh -huh. uh, it was a Transformer, Optimus Prime. Oh. The little truck that unfolded into a little robot. I so. actually played with one of those because my brothers had them. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah. A cool toy, wasn't yeah. It? And what was your favorite toy growing up? Well, well, it's still my first answer, but the second one was, a little pedal tractor with a real spark plug wires coming out the side of the uh -huh. engine. Uh -huh. And I was probably about six. Oh, I love it. And yeah, that was a good one. And Charles, what was your favorite toy well, growing I, up? I had a few that I, I think kind of tie for favorites. So I had one of the real metal Tonka trucks, the uh -huh. big yes. ones that you could almost ride on. Yeah, uh -huh. I, remember those. I loved that thing. And then uh, two, two separate wooden puzzles that my grandfather made for me with a jigsaw. What was your favorite toy growing up? I really can't tell you, but I will say I am enjoying this premium quality tree root, you know, free 99. Okay, all right. I, I can't even be mad. You can keep the root. Oh, yeah. Eric, what was your favorite toy growing up? I say up? my favorite toy was Hot Wheels. 
Hot Wheels? Every, every time I go to the store, I usually buy Hot Wheels. Okay, do you keep it in the package, sealed? Sometimes, no. no. I no. usually play with them outside. <laughs> I'm going to say, don't lie. <laughs> I play them outside in the dirt. I make like little dirt tracks. I'll say half of them are underground. Yeah. You bury them? No, you buy them to bury them? No, they got run over. He'll leave them out They there. got run over. <laughs> He'll play with them, and then just leave them there, and then Carl's will go over them. All of a sudden, when you go digging around the yard, you'll find like 10 of them. Is that true, Eric? Yeah. Crystal, what was your favorite toy growing up? Anything unicorn. Anything unicorn. Yep. Okay, I liked unicorns. David? David, what about you? What was your favorite toy growing up? I'm not grown up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like let me anything. let me reiterate the question. What is your favorite toy now as you grow up? Drones and like RCs. Something smells delicious. What's on the menu today? Uh, sous chefs. Okay. Um, macaroni cheese with ham. Macaroni and cheese with ham. What's on the top? Oh, crackers. Oh my God, this looks and smells delicious. I have a question for you. What was your favorite toy growing up? That's regular pepper. Um, oh my, I don't know. Uh, okay, what was the worst toy growing up? I'm not good with these two. I mean, my favorite toy was probably the fact that I had an Xbox. I liked video games. Yeah, he video games. He still likes video. Wait, how did you get back on the phone with me? Pepper's still not with you. Uh, you know what time it is. Hang up. Jeremy, if there's that's no so pepper, rude. I don't want to talk. So much going on and so many people making it happen. All right, Brian, Eric, and I, we got the property all cleaned up and cleared out. Now this area over here is all boxed off, so no parking on the leach bed, the drainage bed. Oh, there's David. He's our supervisor in charge. How's Travis doing? Good. You sure? Yeah. How many times has he done the same job today? Zero. Zero, okay. Yeah. Day's not over yet. Day's, oh, not, day's over. not over. Yet. Okay, that let's, <laughs> let's see what you're going to see as you come in. Okay, as the kids come in, there's actual, look at this. These are bags that were all donated by viewers, and Darlene and Joyce have been stuffing them full with all kinds of goodies. This is all of the decorations still. We got Christmas trees in here. We still have to put this all out. This is from that, that unit that George and I found. Now... Let's see, I gotta turn the down, no, I want the upper lights on, okay. Yeah. Kids are gonna come through. I know, Travis, I'm messing everything up. Oh, that's good. Perfect. But you can, you can turn it back on when I'm done with this shot. The kids are gonna come through like this, all right? This is just gonna be so cool. There's so many things to see up in the rafters as well. And then, boom! No, it's gonna be boom! Sean on the shelf, which almost everything is done here. Fireplace lit up and all. Now, Sean on the shelf will have candy canes to give away, his own Christmas tree as well. And what's one of the projects right now is getting Christmas trees out. And they fixed Rudolph's nose. Yeah, I broke it. But Deanna fixed it. And then look at that. We've got help dodging the camera right there. This is what's going on in this room right here. So things were so packed in Santa's workshop that sorting started in here to try and gather everything alike together, such as skateboards. And then they're taking everything from in here and moving it into Santa's workshop out there. Now this is the sorting area for the satchels, the backpacks, uh, right here. So Joyce and Darlene will be back later. Actually, George and Aunt Patty and Crystal just went, oh, look at that, Otter Creek, they went to, um, they went to Walmart to go get more fruit. So we need more fruit for sure. Oh, candy, candy, oh. Should I, should I? Maybe I'll get smarter, maybe I'll get smarter. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Now, everybody's having a ton of fun, but it is a lot of work too, it is a lot of work. Uh, that's Deanna's office, a lot of stuff is being shoved in there. This is George's office. All of this will go on the doors at the very end. Aunt Patty donated most of those. And then we have all of these lights in here. So this is the lighting that you'll see. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to guide you. Whoa, David! He's okay. All right, he's supervising. He can take any of those that he wants. So it's going to guide you right to Santa in there. Now let's see what's going on in here. <sighs> Brian, what are you putting in your mouth now, boy? 
just trying to drink some water. Yeah, what'd you do? Tell me what you did. So I, I, um, well. Yeah, well, exactly, well. I found a root under the sand. Yeah, and? And I, I was like, oh, this feels like one of those, because we have roots at our house. Grandma Spons Gail, you need to train yeah. this boy. Hold on, we have vines. No, no, no holding on. You need to train this boy right. Would you tell him to stop putting random things in his mouth? This boy finds anything in the ground and he puts it, did, it in his it mouth. It burn when I chewed the first one. Oh, okay, so the and first the one was okay. One, I didn't think it was the second one that was burning because the first one didn't. And then I chewed it on the other side and the rest of my lips started to burn. All right, so now I've lost a worker. I lost I lost Brian. I asked my mom if she'd give me some milk. I, I lost Brian. I lost Destiny. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, she is out. She's been having so much fun, oh, hasn't she? Yes, oh my goodness. I think him. you should ask him what he learned. Oh, yeah. What did you learn from this? What did you learn from this experience? Like I said, that specific particular root. Uh huh. Do not chew that one. Yeah. Bad root, bad tooth. That's the lesson, okay? Right. All right. There goes Jessica. All right. So I'm, I've lost Destiny. I've lost Brian. Jessica's in the supply room over here. We're probably shoving all kinds of stuff in here, hiding it as well. Actually, we've stolen shelves for Santa's workshop. There's Santa's VIP right there, Blondie. Oh, man. So we've closed this off over there. The vending machines are over there. And then this is just incredible. This is incredible. So we've got aisles in here now. Look at the walls of toys. Look at the wall of toys here. Uno, Ultimate. Oh, my goodness. That's Marvel. I don't even know everything that we have. Look at all these troubles we have. We all know who's trouble in Otter Creek, Deborah. Me, right? Me. Yep, it's me. All right, see? There's proof of it right there. I'm trouble in Otter Creek. But I just want everybody to know I'm not sorry. I'm the good kind of trouble. I'm the good kind of trouble. Okay. Because I'm the, I'm the Project Penguin. So there's all kinds of... Oh, bikes. We still have Did bikes. Did you ever think you were going to have... Never. The problem that we don't have enough room Never. for toys. Never. We don't have enough room for toys. Never. We Jeremy, we need to buy. You need a bigger building. We need a bigger building. Bigger hallway. Bigger hallway. Bigger water line. Yes. Bigger. bigger. Much Definitely bigger. Definitely at least three inches. Three now. inch pipe? At least three. We're putting in a three inch pipe now. Look at this. Look at this. Four inch? Well, yeah, four, that's typically sewer. Home. That's typically sewer. So let's go four that's inch sewer. for water and eight inch for sewer then. There you go. Double That's it up. Look at this. That's Look at this. This is just mind blowing. Mind blowing. I don't even know how Deborah sorts. Like she's been sorting since since early this morning. I don't even know how she's got it all fit. You got a system though, don't you? This was already done. That was already done. Her system is just find a spot. Find a spot. Literally find a spot. Wow. Wow. This is incredible. Look at this all over here. We ran out of shelves. We're trying to get creative. As you can see, these are these are actually postal boxes taped together and then wrapped together because we're running out of shelves. And even garbage pail kids will be up for grabs for all these wee little ones and the older ones. And any age child that comes, there is no age for a child. I'm 46. I'm Deanna, I'm 46. Am I still a child? Yes, you are. Well, there you go. Survey says yes. 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 Okay. Deanna says her too. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Okay. So the kids, the kids are going to be right where, look at that. We're actually live right now. For all of our members, we've been going live every day so they could see Santa's workshop being built. So what's going to happen is the kids will come right here. There'll be a photographer right here. They're going to get their picture. They'll come up here. Look at that. That's a Roman noodle job right That's there. Right. That's a Roman noodle job. Dots so they'll come up here, Santa, Mrs. Claus. Look at all of this. Now we still have decorations to go up. We're still we're having a problem getting the decorations to stick on the stucco concrete, but we're gonna figure it out. And then Mrs. Claus is gonna give away candy canes over here. And look at that. There's a there is a stocking. I bet you there's candy canes in here. Are there? There's probably candy canes in here already. Um, nope, there's more stockings in there. I thought there'd be candy canes. They're hiding uh -huh. thousands and thousands of candy canes somewhere in here. I just, they're keeping them away from me so I don't need them. Oh, they're over here? Okay. Whoa! Oh, jackpot, baby! Wow! Wow! Man, just, 
Look out at this. If you were a kid coming in for Christmas, just look at this. Oh man. Oh man. Wow. This is what happens when people around the world come together for a cause for other people. Okay. They'll come down. They'll be handed off to an elf. There'll be lots of elves and they'll be able to pick so many different toys. Now, Joyce hasn't told me exactly how many toys yet. Then what's going to happen is they're going to come out here. Now, this is Diana's shop or this is the sorting room. Whoops. All right. So what's going to happen is this is all going to be partitioned off with curtains because they don't need to see, eh, probably shouldn't see Tommy the turkey there, right? But they're going to come in through here. There'll be a sheet here. They can sign that they were here for Christmas in the Creek coming back. And then they'll come out here and there's lights all the way down this ramp here. Now, tomorrow morning, I go pick up stadium lights that we've rented for this event. And then out in the field, and we'll just take a look here. Now, there used to be telephone poles. There used to be red uh, steel poles with concrete filled. We, uh, we removed them all because out here is going to be fire trucks. It's going to be, uh, the sheriff are going to be here. There's going to be a petting farm. Uh, there's going to be all kinds of exciting things happening. And maybe one of the most exciting things happening, George is going to come back real soon. These are our local Otter Creek belly dancers. No pole. They just dance on with their belly. Look at that. Look at them go. Look at them go. Now, maybe we can turn them into snowman signifying this is the mole hole in the South Pole. But until then, they'll have a blue Christmas without you. They'll be so blue just thinking about you. The iconic oak tree would be absolutely incredible all lit up. There's just no way that we have time, nor do we have the lights. Not this year. With enough storage units though, we could probably get some lights. But you know we'd have to get limb walkers out here to put the lights all over the tree. And we have to, we definitely, we'd have to leave them there year round. We're at Walmart and we have to get more oranges and apples for the goodie bags. The Hudson sisters have been stuffing them. And so we're gonna stuff our carts with more oranges and apples. I told you I was gonna have a cart full of apples and oranges. Finally learned your lesson. Apples and oranges go in your mouth, Brian. Apples and oranges. It's a little late now. Yeah, okay, so Brian's helping unload the vehicle and Darlene and Joyce should be here at any moment. Stuffing bags, look at that, Kevin. Look at all those oranges and apples. Over 30 bags. Are you serious? Yeah. Woo! And David, still in charge. How's everybody doing, David? Have you had to fire anybody yet today, David? David, am I still employed? Yes. There's Joyce. Let's see if she's changed her mind overnight. Joyce, you didn't change your mind? How many? How many? You went down to five. We were at eight. How in the world do you go down from five? Yeah. Are you serious? She went, she went back down to five just like that. She's gonna have a heart change. I, I know it. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going for 10 no matter what.